take a minute and have you come up and introduce yourself. And the only reason we're going to do that is that I want you to practice coming to stand on the blue tile in just a minute. Uh, Mr. Lynch is going to be recording us. Normally, we would live stream through the Bow Wow so the rest of the students can see. But this morning, there's a couple of surveys that students are taking in advisement. So we're recording it and then sharing it out in classes so that they can, your other classmates can, can see you later on and how well you do. Okay? Yes. You will. You will. You will, yeah. get, an opportunity. You will get an opportunity to take those surveys. Absolutely. All right. So I'm going to get us started. Read some introduction. Uh, read some um, introductions to you and to the families, and then um, have you come up and introduce yourselves. So you're going to notice that you have some numbers under your chair. I do just need you to pay attention to what your number is, um, because I have to be the record keeper for the spelling bee, and I'm going to be keeping a record of who you are based on your number. Make sense? That's all the numbers mean. Okay, it doesn't mean a place or anything like that. All right, so good morning, everybody. I'm going to read it straight from the script to make sure we're following all of the spelling bee rules. Um, I'm Julie McFadden. I'm the instructional coach here at Beacon Hill Middle School, um, and I'm excited to be here with our first in-person bee in a number of years. All right, good morning. I'm Julie McFadden. It is my pleasure to welcome you to Beacon Hill Middle School spelling bee. This competition will begin in just a few moments. At this time, all of our competitors are seated on our stage. And before I begin, I want to introduce our audience members to a couple of the judges uh, that we have with us this morning. So first, we've got Robin Tibbetts. She is a gifted and instru instructional technology coach here, and she's going to be one of our judges this morning. And we've got Mr. Ian Gillum. He is a seventh grade ELA teacher. He is going to be our pronouncer. And I'm so thrilled that he is because some of these words that I've had to call to the students over the last couple of days can be a little tricky. So I'm happy he is willing to help us out. I'm also going to be a judge this morning and I'm going to be recording. So as the stu uh, students spell, my job is to record their spellings as they're speaking them out. So today you will enjoy a great American tradition. The format for the competition is that of a traditional spell down. That is, each of the spellers you see here will receive one word per round. So we'll have rounds. It's a little different than when we did our elimination rounds um, for the grade level Bs. Success in today's spelling bee is, in the beginning, all about what you've memorized. But in the end, there's going to be a bridge. You'll likely be introduced to words that you've probably not memorized before. And when your moment arrives, just like all the pros do in DC, you want to slow down, ask questions, think positively, and be ready to meet that challenge. Remember, you can ask Mr. Gillum to repeat the word. You can ask him for a part of speech. You can ask him for the ori origin of a word. You can ask him to use the word in a sentence and the definition. So when you get to those unfamiliar words, remember to take your time and slow down. All right, so before we begin, we're going to take a moment to practice coming up to, we don't have a microphone this morning, so we don't need it. We're a pretty intimate group here. Um, but we're going to practice coming up to the, the center stage. Um, and pronouncing your name and speaking clearly so that the judges can hear you. So I'm going to start with Speller 1. If you come up to the blue pa uh, paper, you're going to introduce yourself. Tell us what team and what grade level you're representing this morning. I'm Austin. I'm Sunshine Birch. I'm a friend of Grade Level 7 and I'm Austin. Thank you, Ben.
to three finalists or three spellers left. The last three spellers will uh, represent Beacon Hill Middle School at our district level B, but then we will continue on to have an overall winner and a first and second place um, runner up. But our top three um, spellers will represent Beacon Hill at our district spelling bee on February the 4th. It's going to be at 10 a.m. at Tally Street Upper Elementary. Okay? Questions about that? All right, so let's talk about what happens at the end of the bee. If all spellers in a round misspell, all spellers in that round will remain in the competition and a new spelling round will begin. So when we get down to our last two participants, we do have to do um, everyone spell, if everyone misspells the word, then we have to uh, start that round over again. So it's a little different than our elimination rounds where it was the last, if you misspell a word, you're out, and it was the last person standing. When we get down to the last two spellers, you misspell a word, the next speller does need um, to spell their word correctly in order for that round, in order to have a winner for that round. So if you are the last two, you want to stay until the other speller spells their word correctly. If that speller misspells a word, then we'll start another round between those two spellers. Questions there? Okay, very good. Um, if only one speller correctly uh, spells correctly in a round, a new one word spelling round will begin and the speller will be given an opportunity to spell a word on the list. If the speller succeeds in correctly spelling the anticipated championship word in this one word round, the speller will be declared the champion. On behalf of Beacon Hill Middle School, thank you for joining us to celebrate the achievements of these fantastic young spellers. We are about to begin. Um, before we begin, does anyone have questions about the rules or the order we'll go in? Great. All right, so our pronouncer, um, Mr. Gillum, is going to start by reading this statement and then we're ready for you to begin with word count. Cool. Thank you. We are now ready to begin round one of the Beacon Hill Middle School Spelling Bee. Spellers. I would like to remind you of what will happen if you misspell during this round. One of the judges will ring a bell. Then I will provide the correct spelling, and you will go to the side of the stage to meet your parent. Dr. McFadden, at this point, do we want to make them aware of their two options? Yes. After the mission. Yes. So either you may join your family, or we may sit in the audience, or you may return to your advisement if you, if, if you misspell the word. If that happens, we encourage you to find a seat in the audience and be present for the remainder of the competition. Record keepers, are you ready? I'm ready. Um, we do not have a bell this morning, so if you have a misspelled word, we will just, like we've done the last two days, say, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Okay? Instead of ringing, ringing a bell. Speller number one, you may approach. This word has a homonym and can be confused or can be confused with another word. Your word is hot. Hakeem used an oven mitt when he pulled the hot pan out of the oven. This word has a homonym or can be confused with another word. Your word is map. <coughs> map, M A P. Spell it, please. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Your word is tin. Sorry, that is incorrect. This spell, the correct spelling is T E N. Speller four. Thank you. Speller four, your word is moo. When she was a toddler, 
Jasmine would moo every time she saw a cow in a book. Speller five. Your word is bill. The male ruddy duck has a sky blue bill and bright white cheeks. Speller six. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Your word is had. Lucy had an astonishingly large collection of cow stubbies. Speller seven. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Your word is off. Samara took her shoes off the moment she got home from school every day. Speller eight. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Your word is toys. Every night before bed, Iris put her toys away neatly. Toys, T-O-Y-S, toys, correct. Speller nine. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Your word is can. As Darren wobbled on the ladder, paint sloshed over the edge of the can and colored the bushes lavender. Speller 10. This word, this word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Your word is net. <laughs> <coughs> On a trip to Vietnam to visit her grandparents, Trong learned her lo how local fishermen used giant nets to catch fish every day. Net. N-E-T-S. -E Speller 11. Your word is cry. The, uh, when Megan is tired, sad, or worried, she often feels better after having a good cry. Speller 12. Your word is hint. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Your word is cups. Tyler dried the cups and put them away in the cabinet. Cups. T-U-P-S. Cups. Speller two. This word has a homonym or can be confused with another word. Your word is page. Page, P-A-G-E. Speller four. Speller four, your word is put. Speller five. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Your word is ears. Dr. Dressler prescribed an antibiotic <coughs> to treat the infection <coughs> to treat the infection in Claire's dog's ears. Ears. E A R S. Ears. That's correct. Speller six. This word has a homonym or can be confused with another word. Your word is hey. Hey, get that dog out of my flower bed. Mom yelled across the yard. Hey. Speller seven. This word has a homonym or can be confused with another word. Your word is doll. Violet can't 
bear to be parted from her favorite doll. Speller eight. Your word is, a, this word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Your word is need. Corinna's aunt knits blankets and scarves to donate to those in need. Speller nine. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Your word is came. Fiona came into the room on tiptoes so she wouldn't disturb the sleeping puppy. Speller 10. Your word is like. remember to repronounce the word after you're finished spelling. Speller 11. This word has a homonym or can be confused with another word. Your word is look. Dad promised that they would look for the lost toy as soon as Greta got home from school. Speller 12. This word has a homonym or can be confused with another word. Your word is rice. Rice. R I C E. This concludes round two of the Beacon Hill Middle School Spelling Bee. There are 11 spellers remaining. We will now begin round three. Speller number one, you may approach. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Your word is cute. After years with long braids, Zara cut her hair into a cute little bob. Cute. Speller two. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Your word is nose. Ralph's nose was covered in freckles after his week at summer camp. Nose, N-O-S-E, nose, Speller four. Your word is smell. Speller five. This word has a homonym or can be confused with another word. Your word is party. Many of Fallon's friends came to her birthday party. Party. Speller six. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Your word is few. Few of the children wanted to stay inside on the pretty spring day. Speller seven. This word has a homonym or can be confused with another word. Your word is barked. The dog barked like crazy whenever a package was delivered to the house. Speller eight. Your word is crops. Late in the summer, the farm had bumper crops of corn, cucumbers, and tomatoes. Crop. C -R -O -P crop. Speller nine. Your word is shelf. Paul picked up the books scattered on the floor of his room and put them neatly back on the shelf. Speller 10. This word has a homonym or can be confused with another word. Your word is pale. Since there was no pail at the well, Jack ran back to the house to get one. Speller 11. 
Speller 11. This word has a homonym or can be confused with another word. Your word is scars. Vana had scars on her knees from falling off her bike on a gravel road. Scars. Spellers well. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Your word is blame. This concludes round three of the Beacon Hill Middle School Spelling Bee. There are 11 spellers remaining. We will now begin round four. Speller one. Your word is trash. Lisa looked through the pile to see what was worth saving, but it was mainly just trash. <laughs> trash. T R. Speller two. This word has a homonym or may be confused with another word. Your word is stairs. There was always a mad rush on the stairs to the ground floor at the end of the school day. Stairs. S T A I R S. Stairs. Speller four. Your word is chores. Lydia's chores included taking out the garbage, scooping the kitty litter, and watering the houseplants. Speller five. Your word is porch. On summer mornings, before it becomes hot and humid, Tamara likes to eat breakfast on her front porch. Porch. P O R C H. Porch. Speller six. Your word is speck. By the time, and I apologize, I forgot to say that this word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. By the time Ming was done cleaning, there wasn't a speck of dirt in his house. Speller seven. This word has a homonym or can be confused with another word. Your word is washing. The kids came to the table after they were done washing their hands. Speller eight. This word has a homonym or can be confused with another word. Your word is sorry. Heidi was sorry to see her brother go off to college. Sorry. S O R R Y. Sorry. Speller nine. Your word is this word can have. This word has a homonym or can be confused with another word. Your word is white. A little soaking and scrubbing made Tanya's favorite shirt nice and white again. Speller 10. Your word is phone. off the table so people could sit down for dinner.
This concludes round four of the Beacon Hill Middle School Spelling Bee. There are 11 spellers remaining. We will now begin round five, speller one. This word has a homonym or can be confused with another word. Your word is copy. Mary claimed that, her, that his sister, Marty claimed that his sister was always trying to copy him. Speller two. Your word is sheesh. Sheesh, Elaine said. Can I have just one minute to myself, please? Speller four. Your word is bobbed. The rubber ducky bobbed happily on the calm seas of the filled bathtub. Speller five. This word has a homonym or can be confused with another word. Your word is files. When the family computer broke, Nehemiah lost a lot of his files, including art he had made and music he had recorded. Speller six. Your word is only. Your word is only. Ross sometimes wishes he wasn't an only child, but then again, he never has to share his dessert. Speller seven. Your word is clash. Mom says the coolers in Harry's, the colors in Harry's pink, red, and orange outfit clash, but he is wearing the outfit anyway because it makes him feel confident. Speller eight. This word has a homonym or can be confused with another word. Your word is feedback. Mr. Zhao provided feedback to each student after their presentation. Speller nine. Your word is forget. As soon as Jet finished his first airplane ride, he said he would never forget it for the rest of his life. Forget. F O R G E T. Forget. Speller Tim. Your word is swoop. Your word is swoop. Just watch the seagulls swoop and chase each other over the waves. Swoop. S W O O P. Swoop. Speller 11. Your word is greeting. Hortense air kissed her niece once on each cheek in the traditional Parisian greeting. Speller 12. Your word is bandmates. Bandmates. B A N D M A T E S. Bandmates. This concludes round five.
begin round six, correct? All right, we will now begin round six. Speller one, you may approach. Speller one, this word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Your word is curly. Sid piled her curly hair on top of her head so that it resembled a halo of ringlets. Speller two. Your word is funky. Speller three. Or sorry, speller four. Your word is rare. Speller five. Your word is blessings. When Dev started counting his blessings and quickly passed 100, he knew he was a very fortunate kid. Blessings. class, Rania learned that many religions encourage fasting at certain times of the year. Another fish until they had a larger fish tank. Okay. Another. Hey. Speller 12. This word has a homonym or can be confused with another word. Your word is model. Model. This concludes round six of the Beacon Hill Middle School Spelling Bee. There are 11 spellers remaining. We will now begin round seven, speller one. Speller one, your word is frantic. Speller two. Your word is heavy. Speller three. Oh, sorry, speller four. Your word 
is lousy. Speller thought. This word has a homonym or can be confused with another word. Your word is during. Jen was only late for class once during the school year. She had one more minute to work. Speller seven. Your word is damaged. The fender bender damaged Mari's car, but it was still safe to drive. Speller eight. This word has a homonym or can be confused with another word. Your word is beetle. Akuba watched as a little brown beetle scuttled across the sidewalk in front of her. Beetle. Please make sure that you repeat the word. Thank you. And that just lets us know, spellers, that you are finished spelling and that we are no longer waiting for any additional letters from you. Speller nine. This word has a homonym, or could be confused with another word. Your word is quiet. Hetty and Luke were quiet while mom was on the phone. Speller 10. This word has a homonym or can be confused with another word. Your word is trout. T-R-O-U-T, trout. Speller 11. Your word is landline. Jolene marveled that her grandparents still had a landline in addition to their mobile telephones. word has a homonym or can be confused with another word. Your word is tingle. Ellie felt her left foot tingle and knew it had fallen asleep. Speller five. Your word is everlasting. Due to climate change, the North Pole may no longer be a place of everlasting ice and snow. Everlasting. E V E R L A S T I N G. 
Speller 5, or sorry, Speller 6, your work is awesome. Jody thought the singer's latest release was awesome. Speller seven. This word has a homonym or can be confused with another word. Your word is saints. When a nice couple stopped to help with our flat tire, mom thanked them a hundred times and called them saints on earth. Speller eight. Your word is discarded. Your word is discarded. Anjali discarded the leftovers in the fridge that were growing fuzz. Discarded. D-I-S-C-A-R-D. Discarded. Speller nine. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Your word is foster. The Listers have a very busy house with seven biological children and two foster children. Foster. F-O-S-T-E-R. Spell it, Tim. Your word is railings. Speller 11. Your word is spellbound. Could you use any of those, please? Allah was spellbound as her aunt described her trip to India. Speller 12. This word has a homonym or can be confused with another word. Your word is overseas. Remy loved his semester overseas, but he was thrilled to come home and see his parents after such a long time away. Overseas. This concludes round eight of the Beacon Hill Middle School Spelling Bee. There are 11 spellers remaining, so we'll now begin round nine. Speller one. Your word is easily. Speller four. This word has a homonym or can be confused with another word. Your word is nimble. Ying's nimble fingers moved quickly up and down the violin as he played the piece. Speller five. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Your word is inkling. Your word is inkling. Veronica and Esteban planned their prank so thoroughly that the victim didn't even have the slightest inkling that there was a bucket of glitter hanging above her head. Speller six. Your word is snooty. Harry disliked snooty, Aunt Marge, but
but didn't intend to sabotage her visit. Speller seven. Your word is sparrow. Speller eight. This word has a homonym or can be confused with another word. Your word is beginning. Rosie is just beginning to learn geometry, but she already likes it a lot. Speller nine. This word has a homonym or can be confused with another word. Your word is joggled. When Rudy joggled the table, the tower of blocks tottered a bit but did not fall. Speller 10. Your word is whizzed. Your word is whizzed. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is W H I Z Z E D. Thank you, Speller 10. Speller 11. Your word is cottonwood. The cottonwood in Ursula's front yard is more than 50 years old. Sarai will be hauling her little cousins from their school to their soccer practice this afternoon. I am sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is H-A-U-L-I-N-G. Hauling. Thank you, Speller 12. This concludes round nine of the Beacon Hill Middle School Spelling Bee. There are nine spellers remaining. We will now begin round 10. Speller number one, you may approach. Speller one, your word is slather. JC was so sensitive to the sun that she had to slather sunscreen on every inch of exposed skin before she went outside. Slather. S L A T H E R. Slather. Right. Speller two. Your word is apartment. Speller four. Your word is archers. Archers. A R C H E R S. Correct. Speller five. Your word is floral. The floral emblem of the state of Tennessee is the iris. Speller six. This word has a homonym or can be confused with another word. Your word is 
murals. The students decided to spruce up the outside of the school with a series of murals. Speller seven. This word has a homonym or can be confused with another word. Your word is arrows. Legolas touched his quiver and realized that he only had three arrows left. Speller eight. Your word is decide. Speller 11. Your word is adorable. Could you repeat it one more time? Adorable. Could you Jamila and the dog had different opinions about whether it was adorable to put a sombrero on a dog. Concludes round ten. I think at this point we'll take a pause again. We've been through another five rounds. Okay. Um, did you need a restroom and water break? We're going to take about a ten minute break and then we'll get started with the round eleven. Absolutely. Opportunity to confer and we are going to jump up in rigor of the word uh, few words. So council will um, uh, some of the words you may notice are a little bit more rigorous. Um, <coughs> Sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is G E O P O L 
I-T-I-C-S. Thank you, Speller 4. Speller 5, you may approach. Your word is feisty. The feisty little terrier would play fetch for hours. Speller six. Your this word has a homonym or can be confused with another word. Your word is serum. Serum. Balto was a Siberian husky famous for leading a team of sled dogs that rushed a serum to Nome, Alaska to combat a diphtheria outbreak. Speller seven. This word has a homonym or can be confused with another word. Your word is embossed. Speller eight. Your word is ordained. Speller nine, your word is unacknowledged. <laughs> unacknowledged. Speller 11. Your word is defunct. Your word is defunct. The mechanical adding machine became defunct following the advent of the pocket calendar. Sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is D E F U N C T. Defunct. Thank you, Speller 11. This concludes round 12. Of round 11. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. This concludes round 11 of the Beacon Hill Middle School Spelling Bee. There are seven spellers remaining. We will now begin round. 12, Speller 1, you may approach. Speller 1, your word is acrid. Speller 2, your word is retribution. Speller five. Your word is churned. Winnie's stomach churned after eating three corn dogs and then going on the looping roller coaster. Churned. C H U R N E D. Churned. Speller seven, six. Your word is. Reenactment. A history enthusiast, Kartik desperately wanted to attend a reenactment of the Battle of Gettysburg.
Spelling word seven. Your word is exhilaration. Nothing can match the exhilaration Sebastian felt when zooming down a mountain on skis. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is E X H I L A R A T I O N, exhilaration. Thank you, speller seven. Speller eight. Your word is pioneer. This word has a homonym or can be confused with another word. Your word is tenants. 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 One of the tenets of Joey's philosophy is that people are inherently good, but dogs are better. Sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is T E N E T S. Tenants. Thank you, speller nine. This concludes round 12 of the Beacon Hill Middle School Spelling Bee. There are five spellers remaining. Speller one, or we will now begin round 13. Speller one, you may approach. Your word is subsidence. After the subsidence of the silt Chantel had stirred up in the creek, the water flowed clear again. Speller five. Your word is provocation. Provocation. Garrett's conversation with his teacher served as a provocation to further thoughts about his essay topic. Provocation. Sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is P R O B O C A T I O N. Provocation. Thank you, Speller. <laughs> speller six, your word is pomade. Repeat the word, please. Your word is pomade. Jeremy enjoyed the sweet fragrance of his favorite pomade but he did not like its waxy texture. Repeat the word. Pomade. Can I have the medication? A fragrant, usually medicated ointment for the hair or scalp.
I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is P-O-M-A-D-E, pomade. in the marble. Sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is D-I-S-S-O-L-U-D.
So is there like a is there like a prize for like semen or anything for if you win it? For like if for in the district, like if you win this, do you like is there like some sort of semen or does it not matter? For for getting a for getting a first place for the reasoning yeah. for creating an official first place, second place, third uh, place, is question. there a reason for the seating S E D I N G seating? Got it, got it. I was thinking seating like you're you're seated. Yeah. Uh, I think no. So the reasoning for the top three is that we get our representatives for the to the best of the and then the reason that we're continuing to go is so that we can honor and highlight the overall winner, the first place and the second place. You guys have worked so hard that we want to continue and um, highlight whoever our overall winner is for the middle school. Good question. All right, you ready? Great. Do we just want to pick up at 172? Yeah. Absolutely. This will begin round 14 of the Beacon Hill Middle School Spelling Bee. Spell it one. You may approach. Please make sure if you are sitting in the audience that you remain silent so that people can hear the word. This word has a homonym or can be confused with another word. Your word is intubated. The patient had to be intubated to keep his airway open. So the correct pronunciation is intubated. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is I N T U B A T E D. Now, since that so we read pronunciation. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I just intubated. Okay. Yeah. Do, do, do we? Are, is he having a seat now in the audience, or because of the rules of the next? Yes. I, I just with, with the rules for the last yeah. three, how do we want to proceed? Benjamin, you can stand here because if you have all three misspelled words. or can be confused with another word. Your word is fatten. Can you repeat the word, please? Fatten. Can I have the next picture? To fasten or to fasten by or as if by means of a reinforcing strip. Can you say the please? The crew will fatten down the hatches if the waves grow higher. or replica, markedly close or faithful to an original, and typically made to deceive for gain. Your word. 
word is urchins. Urchins. U R C H I N S. Urchins. Speller six. Your word is conifers. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is, or, before we do this, do we want to give speller two the same word? And then if they spell it incorrectly, we'll do another word or give that person. And if they spell it correctly, we give that person the next word. All right. So what we're going to do is, yes, so you'll have a C. Speller two will come back up. They will spell this word. First, if you spell this word correctly, you will then be given another word. If you spell this word incorrectly, you will sit back down and speller six will come back up and be given the next word in the list. Okay? It's conifers. Yes, conifers. Conifers. C O N I F E R S. Conifers. That is correct. Again, one more word. If you spell this word correctly, you are our official winner of the Beacon Middle School Spelling Bee. If you spell this word incorrectly, we will go to speller six for the next word in the list. Your word is vestments. Vestments. V E S T M E N T S. Yes, vestments. That is correct.